Okay guys, you win. I've uh, been inundated with requests and questions about fire welding, forge welding, why I haven't done a video. Well, as I told most of you, I'm rubbish at it, which is why I haven't done one, but stop my inbox, keep filling up, we're going to give it a go. Um, start off with a few tips. Um, firstly, you want your fire really, really clean. You want clean coal, don't burn any wood, paper, card, packaging, anything on your fire before you start. And build your fire up nice and high, much higher than you normally would. Get it a good, fast rolling um, burn. You want it nice and hot. Um, you don't want to put any fresh coal on once you've got your, your material in there. That's why you want it nice and big and high to start with. You can push your, your hot coals together, but don't put any fresh coal on. That'll kill it. Right, the easiest way to start this is... Um, using a just an old bit of I'm, I've got a bit of uh, 3 8 round here I think it is um, I'm going to turn it into a circle if you start with a circle you haven't got to muck about with two bits of iron get them both hot at the same time with two pairs of tongs uh, trying to put one on top of the other end hit it it's far easier turn it into a circle your two ends are together You've got one pair of tongs you can manhandle it much easier and while you're learning that's the sort of thing you want to do so we're going to start off by turning it into a, a circle I should have got that a bit hotter um, and as I say said earlier the cleanliness of your fire is really really important uh, make sure all your clinkers out of it first you know when you first start um, I don't know why it makes so much difference but it really does the cleaner your fire the better. Carry on turning this into a bit of a circle and we're going to scarf the ends. I don't know if that's a familiar term or not to any of you which basically means um, just putting a, a short rough taper on each end of the material so that when you you overlap them there's uh, a bit of meat sort of extra so that when you hit it when you're welding you've got something to to play with otherwise you'll end up with it too thin thinner than the original so we're just going to open these up a little bit a bit close and there's you put your first scarf on use the heel of the hammer doesn't need to be anything special, just a quick tapering down. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit bright, the sun on this. Just a, a rough, you want it smooth, nice and rough, so you've got uh, the two edges can sort of meet together. So now we've done this one, we're going to turn it and flip it right over and do exactly the same for the other one. And then bring the ends together finish off the circle. And so doing it like this is so much easier when you're learning um, because as you can see the ends are held together and then once you've figured out your technique um, and you've done it over and over and over again then you can start playing about with two separate bits of metal. Right, you can see they're overlapped there now um, touching together and you've got a bit of meat because you've got over the thickness with the two bits of material if you see what I mean they're over half half the thickness each so you've got some metal to play with in both directions really width ways now I've put my wire brush down somewhere I just want to give it a quick clean up oh blow me it's hanging up so I'm just going to quick clean up get some of the scale off um, so same old thing, cleanliness, get your well clean to start with. And your table. Now we're going to put this in the fire upright. And so try and get the, the fire almost boiling so that the top coals are almost blowing up out of the fire. You can see that's nice and hot. We've stood it upright so that just the scarf scarf bits get hot. You want to wear dark glasses when you're doing this. Don't cover your weld because you, then you can see exactly when it's melted and it's hot enough. You just bring it out, 
give it a couple of quick taps and that's about it. You don't really want to muck about with it too much. I'm actually mucking about with it a little bit too much. Because ideally what you want to do now is put it straight back in. Um, get another welding heat on it. Um, and give it another go. Just to make sure all your joins are thoroughly joined. But I haven't got a lot of time today so I'm just doing the one just to show you. And although it's not really neat, it has actually got it. That's actually welded quite solidly. So I'm just going to pull it off and show you. Alright, not pretty. You can see the, the join, but that actually has got it. That is quite firmly welded. And so if you've taken the second heat, that back edge, that one's not so good. The scarf should really have been a little bit thinner so that when it uh, was hit, it, it sort of disappeared a bit better. And so second heat would have probably helped with that as well. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, you can sometimes, if necessary, if you're, you're a bit worried about thinning it out too much, you see we're almost down to the to the thickness is you can bump these ends up before you start um, so you can you can actually make them thicker these ends then put your scarf in then do your weld and that just gives you a little bit extra to play with but anyway told you I was rubbish but it's given you an idea um, and actually as I say it has actually got it um, so there you go, I hope this has helped some of you out. Given you an idea. And I say cleanliness is important. Till next time.